Howdy folks, this is Frank Cox with SmokerBuilder.com, Smoker Builder Manufacturing. Uh, recently we took on a project with Lava Lock barbecue uh, products. Anyway, we've uh, made a replacement door for the WSM cookers. I've already put up a little video there, just a teaser of what it looks like and how it works, already installed. Uh, but this is a quick video just to show you how easy it is to install on a WSM cooker. Uh, anyway, this is our WSM cooker. I've already got some holes drilled in it from where I put this thing on there about 15 million times to make sure it would fit. Um, so anyway, this is the factory door. Real thin and flimsy. You couldn't see it from that perspective, but there's a big gap on both sides of these top corners. Uh, this door is notorious for leaking. Um, there are some other replacements out there, but they're the same thing pretty much, just a little thicker metal. Um, we've took it a whole different route. This door here, I don't know if you can see that from there, but this door here is manufactured by us. Um, it comes unpainted, and the reason for that is, is because there's too many people wanting too many different colors. Uh, it also makes it a little more affordable for you guys to buy. So, uh, anyway, this door is pre-welded, prefabricated. Everything's done to it except the paint and the installation. It comes in a kit with this huge, massive, uh, very durable toggle clamp available from barbecuesmokermods.com or barbecuesmokersupply.com. This mount is pre-mounted and threaded, so really all you got to do is just hold this up there and run that quarter 20 bolt in there that comes with it. Same thing on the other side here for the striker. It's, it's got pre-tapped holes there that you just literally just run two bolts in and you're done. Mounting the latch is very easy on this. It comes with gasket, but the gasket's not assembled on there yet. It's a self-adhesive lava lock, uh, one inch by eighth inch thick or half by eighth, whatever Justin decides to send. Pretty sure it's a one inch. Um, and it just adheres all the way around this corner but you'll want to paint the door before you put that gasket on so you don't paint your gasket. Um, it sticks better without paint on there, but it's just kind of up to you how you want to do it. Anyway, this door, as you can tell, is, is wide open. It fits right over the top of this existing hole. You don't have to cut a new hole. Um, to put it on, take the lid off, take the top cooking grate out, Take the next cooking, cooking grate and the water pan out. Just like that. You can use two different methods to, to put it on. It comes with quarter 20 nuts and bolts, or you can go down to the hardware store if you prefer. It's a lot faster to install with these self-drilling uh, sheet metal screws. This is a uh, number 12 by one inch got a 5 16 hex head on it. Um, that's how I actually put it on the first time. Um, to do that, you just use an impact drill with a 5 16 bit. Or, if you can hold it up there by yourself, there's a ridge right here at the bottom. It rests on that ridge. Like that. And then there's a screw that holds the mounting brackets for the cooking grates inside on either side of this door. The, the flange goes in between there and all you got to do is line this up and mark it with a silver marker where your holes are. You take the door off, use a quarter inch or a 5 16 drill bit and then just drill your holes on those marks that you just made. I've only got one hole left here to drill. Uh -huh. These cookers are coated with a ceramic coating, so you know, be patient with your drill bit. It's got to puncture through that ceramic coating on the outside before it drills through. It's always better to drill slow and put pressure on it when you're drilling. Maybe use a drilling lubricant of some kind to help you cut your threads without ruining your drill bit. Once you get all your holes drilled on both sides, this side and this side, then all you got to do is just get the top one lined up. You can kind of set it on your knee, but it also rests on that rib at the bottom like I showed you earlier. And then just get one nut started. And then go to the other side.
didn't wallow my hole out good enough. And then just continue that process all the way down the door. If you wanted to, you could even go ahead and get the top two bolts on and then finish drilling your holes the rest of the way. Uh, once you're done bolting this thing on, you'll take included in the kit is some RTV sealant. Paint the door first. After you're done painting it, it dries, you install the door. Take the enclosed, I think it's black in color, uh, lava lock RTV sealant and just run a real thin bead around the top and all the way around the side and the bottom to finish sealing off the door and you're in business. This door will help you add coals or water to your water pan. Um, it also fits perfectly on a 22 inch, 55 uh, gallon drum. It'll be 22 and an eighth or so, something like that, 23 inches something on a, on a 55 gallon barrel. Um, I'm gonna do another video that shows how to mount that on an ugly drum and also on a ribbed barrel, so stay tuned.